On Monday, November the 13th, 2023, there was a go-to webinar sponsored by several housing agencies in HUD. It was a national call for clarification of HUD asset limit implementation. The real message behind this webinar was that HUD wants the owner agents to be aware that you are to operate under your present compliance systems until tracks and the owner agent systems are 203A HOTMA compliance. It appears that owners and agents are evicting and rejecting applicants based on what they conceive the HUD HOTMA asset limitation will be. HUD stated that the owners and agents are to stop and desist any resident evictions and applicant rejections. You should be doing business as usual, meaning the process before any HOTMA talk until HOTMA and 203A are in place. Example, we received a congressional letter about an applicant who was told that he would not qualify for an assistant unit because he owned a home that he was selling. And the sale may be over $100,000. And because of the new HUD rules, he would not qualify. Well, this is not true. And he should have been granted the right to enter into a lease on that property. There are so many things that could have happened that he would have still been able and been eligible even if his home did sell for $100,000 or more that may not have affected his living on the assisted property. Things that will have been evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. And that's what HUD said on the call. They will evaluate things on a case-by-case -case basis. Remember, HUD has not finalized the asset implementation portion of HOTMA or release the Q&As, so don't put your company or yourself in a liable position. See you next time for another Tuesday Tip.